Welcome to Sujitra Statistics Classes. Today we are going to discuss one problem from sufficient estimate. Show that x bar is a sufficient estimate of p. When a sample of size n are taken from a binomial population with the parameter n and p. And n and p are given. If an estimator is sufficient for a parameter theta, we can rewrite the likelihood function of the samples or joint probability density function of samples as a product of two functions. One function is a function of estimate and parameter and other is independent of the parameter. Let x1, x2, etc, xn be n samples taken from a binomial population with the parameter n and p. So, we have to calculate likelihood function. L of x1, x2, etc xn and p which is equal to f of x1 and p into f of x2 and p etc into f of xn and p where f of xi and p is equal to nc x1 p ratio sigma xi 1 minus p ratio n minus xi xi takes the value 0, 1, 2, 3 etc up to n and i varies from 1 to small n. Let us write l x1 x2 x3 xn and p as l now onwards. Therefore, L equal to Nc x1, P raised to x1, 1 minus P raised to N minus x1 into Nc x2, P raised to x2, 1 minus P raised to N minus x2, etc. into Nc xn, P raised to xn into 1 minus P raised to N minus x. So, which is equal to First, let us write these P's together. So, P raised to X1 into P raised to X2, etc. P raised to X and that is P raised to summation over Xi. Then, 1 minus P's. 1 minus P raised to summation over N minus Xi. Then, NX1 into NX2, etc. NXN, that is pi I varies from 1 to n, n, c, x, i. We know that x bar equal to sigma x, i by n. So, we can rewrite sigma x, i is equal to n x bar, which is equal to p raised to n x bar 1 minus p raised to when we are removing the brackets this n become small n capital n minus this x i becomes sigma x i so we can write that as n x bar Pi i varies from 1 to n, n c, x i. So, the first two functions together, that is n x bar into 1 minus p raised to n minus n minus n x bar is a function of p and x bar or is a function of x bar and p. Estimate and parameter. And the second function 
is independent of parameter p. So we can rewrite this as L1 of x bar p and L2 of x1, x2, etc. Excel a function of samples. So this satisfies the conditions of sufficiency. Therefore, we can say that x bar is a x bar is a sufficient estimate of p. Thank you. Thank you for listening the video.